Hi everyone. Okay, so just a couple of things. I've just been had my brows topped up. So very pleased with them. So I'm makeup free and I've got some new makeup to try out. Just literally a foundation and a concealer. So I thought I'd just come on live and do a little bit of a chat about microblading, or a little bit of a chat verse about microblading versus um, HT brows. And we can talk a few different ones as well. And also try out the makeup. So pop a one below if you're watching live, pop a two below if you're watching on replay. So I've just been and had my brows topped up. Now, um, I had my eyebrows microbladed last, oh, just over a year ago. So it was just, it was July last year because it was in that horrendous heat, which was just unbearable. Um, so I had my eyebrows microbladed, but before about, probably six months before that um, I was actually having a treatment with the same girl um, because I didn't know her and I wanted to build that trust um, she did come from recommendation from my sister so I would always always go on recommendation if you're going anywhere to have beauty treatments done because you know if you can then that's obviously a much better option so I was actually having um, HD brows done before that and they were brilliant like they do HD brows is like a seven step process so they do a regrowth they can do a regrowth program so if you've got gaps in your brows um, you know there's lots of there's different programs available I believe for like to help you regrow um, and to have treatments in between but it's a seven step process so that consists of first of all they tint and then they wax and they trim and they thread and they pluck and what's the other one? A complete mind blank. Anyway that's what they do. So they start off with a tint then they wax, thread, pluck trim like it's just literally the works um so i was having that done and that gave me an idea of the shape that she was going to do if and when i decided to have them microbladed so um i took the plunge in so hd brows is normally around 25 pound um and yeah i loved it because it just gave me it gave me high definition brows which was what i wanted but i didn't want them i wanted them to be quite subtle which i'm not always done when you've first had them done but they die down a little bit so if you've got no brows at all um uh, or you've got really sporadic brows or you've over plucked like someone like some people like really over plucked as teenagers and then they've just never grown back or some people i know actually shave their eyebrows and you know they've really struggled to grow them back so um like hd brows is a really good way to just you know subtly enhance your brows and give you a bit of shape to the face so um i definitely recommend that and then i built the trust with her knew that she was going to do a good job and i booked in the microblading had that done last year so your hd brows are about 25 pound a session and you probably would have that done every sort of four to six weeks depending on how quickly they grow uh, once you've got the shape there if you feel like finished a regrowth program, then um, you can tidy them up in between. Um, so that's that. And then the microblading, um, I paid a £50 deposit um, and then it was £150 on the day when I had them done. Um, and don't have them done in the heat. That is my biggest top tip. That, that horrendous heat we had last year was when I had mine done. And you're not allowed to get them wet for two weeks. Um, until they've all sort of scabbed over um, and you can't sweat well that was just near on impossible in that heat that we had last year so that was fun and games but anyway so the microblading is it's not a machine technique there is another um, technique the girl that does mine she also does a machine um, version as well but that's different to microblading um, but the microblading is literally like a blade and they drag through the pigment um, into your brows and give you like really subtle 3d brow strokes and it is i love it so much so i had that done and then um if you want to you can have a color boost um so i had a color boost in january so i went from july to january and i think i had one hd top up in that time because i was just sort of tidying them up i didn't need an hd top up i could have just done them myself but I just didn't want to because having spent that money, I didn't want to overplug, I didn't want to get it wrong, like I'm not very good at doing my own. So 
um i had that done just before christmas and then i booked in a color boost in i think it was february march time so i've not long had a color boost and basically with a color boost what they do is they just go over the lines that are already there that she's already put in and my biggest gap was here that's where the definition is mostly but if you look like really closely like they just look like hair strokes you can't see that it's like it doesn't look like I've just had them painted on um she also does like a powder brow as well I think my, I think that's what my sister's got um so yeah so those are the differences and um I'll probably have so I said to Martin I said well you know okay it is gonna be I didn't actually tell him I think one of my friends dropped me in it when not that he'd mind but I think one of my friends dropped me in it when she was around one day and um asked how much the brows were because he just thought I was having them like topped up like I normally do at HD brows and I think I got dropped in it um so I was like well you know okay it, it was it's 150 pounds I paid a 50 pound deposit got to make it sound better haven't you and um but you know I'm not going to need my HD brows anymore at the moment I'm paying like 30 pound a month for my 20 pound 25 pound a month for my HD brows he's like all right yeah whatever so now when I say I'm going to have my brows done he's like why why are you having your brows done like you've had them like microbladed and yeah I have but I just like that bit of definition and I probably now have them HD'd once every two or three months and I just pluck and trim and stuff in between. So if you've thought about microblading then do it girls because it's bloody brilliant. Okay, so I have been reacting to my, just cut myself, I've been reacting to my tinted moisturiser which I love and I've used for years. Don't know why I've started reacting to it but I started getting bumps all like under the skin so I thought you know what I'm just going to try something else and I'm not very good at trying new products because I fall in love with something and like, that's it and I'm not really a massive makeup person so um but I really am trying to go cleaner with my products so I have just ordered this from Tropic so I love supporting other um, businesses it is not something I sell um, a lovely lady a friend of mine um, works with the company and I had a look so if you um, want to check the ingredients in any products then the think dirty app is really good um, and basically you want um, any products that you're looking for to be clean check them out on the think dirty app put in the barcode um, you can scan products they haven't got all of the products like there's not all the products on there this one wasn't on there for example um but just to check the ingredients in your products and whether they're doing more harm than good on your skin you can go to think dirty download it it's a free app um and then you can um literally just either scan it or input the barcode um or type it in and search this clip's like completely pointless because it's broken um so yeah so that's a really good one so although this product wasn't on there i haven't had a chance to look at all the different ingredients i haven't had a chance to look at the ingredients in there but i looked at the tropic range on the app and all of their pro products were completely clean um so what you want they to give you is like a rating so the um zero and green anything green is good like it means it hasn't got any nasty ingredients in it um, and then you can actually click on the rating and it will give you each ingredient and tell you what's bad. Um, so it's a fantastic tool to use. Um, so I'm just going to try it out while I'm live. I tried the, um, I ordered the, just the porcelain um, and I didn't go for the mineral um, powder because, well, I just, the last few times I tried, like I tried another brand, um, the ingredients were not great. Um, and last time I did that and tried a mineral, that's just not going to stay up, a mineral um, powder, um, it just all sat, I felt like it sat in my wrinkles and it was just too heavy. It's just too heavy. Like, I'm knocking on 40 girls. Powders are not the way to go. But I do like a, um, I do like a matte finish. So I don't, I don't really like, like, sh I need some powder on my face, basically. So I literally just got, I thought I'm just going to try it. They've got a sun cream as well, which is good because um, finding a natural sun cream is really hard and the girls both suffer with eczema. So um, I literally just got the concealer, um, the undercover cream concealer and it comes in this little pouch and you can get like um, palettes where you can put in 
these these slot into the palettes i believe um but i haven't done that and i also didn't bring a mirror so don't judge me on my makeup lack of skills because i'm literally just gonna whack this on quickly um i very rarely met wear makeup when i'm at home um but i'm gonna bring a spray with me i didn't bring anything out here but i'm just popping out to meet some friends so i just thought you want to make a bit of an effort i'll put on some tinted moisturizer that's about it so under eye i don't know why but apparently you're supposed to like drag it down here in a triangle shape and then i'm just whacking it on girls because I don't know why I didn't sleep well. I'll tell you why I didn't sleep very well last night. Because I've got a blooming teenager that just doesn't sleep. Knocking around in her wardrobe at 12 o'clock last night and kindly doing the washing, that is her job, around the house at midnight when everyone else is trying to sleep. Okay, so this will need a bit more blending when I get off the live so it feels good actually it doesn't feel don't know what the coverage is going to be like but we'll see so um that's the under eye concealer and then i'm just going to slap on so i got the porcelain which is oh it's got it um it's this is good actually this has got an spf in it of 35 so you want to be wearing and my tint moisturizer didn't have that so you want to be making sure that you're wearing an SPF of at least 30 on your face. It should be 50 really. So I've got the porcelain. So that's the colour of it. Let's check I've got the porcelain because that looks quite dark actually. Sheer foundation. Beauty booster. All right, let's give it a bash. Let's give it a bash. Do not judge me. Oh girls, it smells really nice. I'll tell you what it's got in it in a minute. So, because I figured, I thought, you know what, even if it's too light, um, I can, oh, it smells like something, I can't think what it is. Even if it's too light, I can pop on some bronzer, but I, I'm a bit, oh, a bit, I'm so fussy when it comes to foundation. I don't wear it very often, and I think that's why, because I don't like, I don't like the way makeup feels on my face. So I'm just going to avoid the brows just because I've just had them threaded and waxed and everything else. And bear in mind that I'm doing this in my phone camera and I can't actually see what I'm doing because I've got no mirror. I did have a mirror in here, I don't know where it's gone. Okay, so smells nice. So it's got in it, oh, so it's how to apply, and I've just done the complete opposite. Um, apply a few drops of Beauty Booster onto your face, dampen your beauty sponge, and blend to an even flawless finish. So, this light is rubbish as well. I think that needs a bit more blending, if I'm honest. And my beauty sponge is, like, has anyone washed these? Mine is absolutely disgusting. I wash my makeup brushes, but I don't use these very often. Cause I feel like, tell me, are you like, I was, I'm rubbish with makeup, but you're supposed to use them damp, right? But when I use them and I've dampened them, I feel like it's taken all my makeup off. So, okay, so this does smell good. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin, which is nice. Just needs a bit more blending in. Um, and coverage looks all right. So I'm just going to pop on some bronzer, I'm going to get in a better light and I'll take a picture and pop it down there, blend, blend, blend. Okay, so this was, I can't remember how much it is, I think it was about 20, so it's 30 mil, so it's not a massive tube of foundation, but it's okay. It's got an SPF of 35, um, weightless coverage, it's 100% naturally derived. Uh, it's vegan friendly as well for anyone that's vegan 
or likes vegan products. It's got aloe vera juice in it, coconut emollient, loads of plant stuff, Jehovah oil, um, hyaluronic acid, which is really good for you, sweet orange, frankincense, lavender, that's good. Uh, rosemary extract, um, mineral thick. So, like, there's like there's nothing in there that stands out to me. I haven't had a chance to look at it properly, but I shall. Um, I shall do that. I shall pop the um, bits below, and yeah, that's it, girls. I'm just gonna finish off and go in and do this in some proper light, and I'll pop a picture up underneath so you can see what it looks like. And my girl that I got the. Um, foundation from I will tag her below and if you are interested in any of the products then just pop her a message she's really really lovely and she'll help you out that's it girls I will catch you later thanks for listening to me ramble on and um yeah have a good day